one major thing that people don't understand about gymnastics is the the fear factor that goes on in it. And I do think that as it, that happens at all the different levels of gymnastics. So a kid might conquer something, but then the very next day they might have something else that's a little bit harder. The typical body shape that we look for isn't necessarily body shape, but it's more so gymnasts who are really flexible, but also strong. I took gymnastics when I was little, but um, I quit because I had to move a bunch, but I came back and I decided I would try it again. I realized it was really fun and I could make friends and I was just naturally good at it. I started doing it because I thought it was, a, it was really fun and it was a great way to meet new friends. I have seen a noticeable change in her personality since she started gymnastics. She's um, more determined and she sticks to things more than she used to. She, a lot of things have come easy to her in her life and so when, when she's good at something, she likes it a lot. And when she's not good at it, she wants to quit and not do it. But this has helped her to get over that and be able to say, okay, even though I'm not the best at this, I'm gonna keep working at it so I can get better. And I, I really like that she's seeing that. My favorite thing about the gymnastics is doing the vault because you can kind of be free on the vault. It's not just a whole routine that you have to do exactly. I like the bars the best because it's not like if you fall down, you could really break your ankle like on floor and sometimes on beam and maybe vault. Because on bars, there's something to hang on to. There are many things that we do to try to prevent sports injuries and, and things like that. The first thing I would say is that the equipment, um, it's always checked. It's always made sure that there's proper matting. There's rules that are set up that all the coaches are aware of, of how like for what level a gymnast is, is to fire to how, what matting should be underneath them or what equipment that they're allowed on. Some of the younger gymnasts aren't allowed on some of the bigger pieces of equipment. And then also just that we make sure the gymnasts stretch a lot before every practice. I worry about the injuries, especially when I get to see the older gymnasts practice because we have had some injuries in the past year. Little aches and pains here and there, but I'm not really concerned about it because I feel that the gym's really safe. They, their first priority is safety in the girls, so I, I have no concerns about that. For example, like today's practice, what we did a lot of to get ready for a meet, um, the gymnasts usually run through their routines. Sometimes we'll run through the warm-up because there's a special warm-up that they do at the actual competition for each event. So we'll go through that sometimes. Um, and then also there's always usually a mental preparation as well. Definitely a conversation about, you know, how are you going to be prepared and ready for the meet. We have eight meets per year if you're a level four gymnast, and that includes state, which you have to qualify for. The things that you do when you get at a meet, first of all, you get there extra early. And then uh, there's a lot of just stretching at first on the floor. The kids get bar sets because their bar settings are all different. And then they usually do uh, a march in for the teams. They get announced and then they'll do like a, a warm up per event. So you kind of warm up your event and then you go and compete your event. And you do that for all four. And then at the very end, there's an award ceremony. Well, my favorite thing about the meets is how I can see like the other peop the other girls from the gym and see how they do their run up back, back handspring a little different than mine. It just sometimes shows me a way to improve. My favorite part is seeing all the scores and seeing how much we improve and how much we're just getting better, which makes us a, just a better gymnast. I hope my daughter gets out of gymnastics a sense of confidence and a sense of grace and I hope she finds some kind of exercise regimen that she will carry throughout her life because she has such a beautiful personality and a beautiful spirit and now she has this beautiful toned little body and I hope she keeps it forever. <laughs> if I had one word of advice to upcoming gymnasts, I would say don't give up because just because you're not the strongest and not the fastest doesn't mean that you still can't succeed in the sport.